So, Natasha, I have heard you discuss um, the issue of debt uh, of death on several occasions, and what really surprised me there was that you were talking about death as a potential for a vacation uh, or something that is optional and that we could choose to either take temporarily or not. Uh, would you mind elaborating on that? Sure. Um, is my sound all right? Your sound is perfect. Oh, okay, good. All right. Historically, death has been a consequence of life. If you're alive, you die. And it has been accepted as a given that we live to a certain amount of time chronologically and then our body goes into states of apoptosis or cell degeneration and we are diseased and we die. With the advent of biotechnology and nanomedicine and artificial intelligence and other um, methodologies for the uh, purpose or function of extending life, we have to take a look at uh, what would it mean to live well beyond 122 years or what would it mean to live um, into 200 years. And not only that, when we consider the uh, research and development into building non-biological bodies or forms to uh, exist within with our, our brain, gray matter, and our um, consciousness, our personhood, we're taking a look at living well beyond biology standards. Uh, further, when we take a look at virtual reality and enhanced reality and other uh, methods for uh, existence outside of biology, there is no time frame that is established so far. So what does this mean to life and existence? Well, we may get to a point where we want to es not escape from life, but um, relax from it or take a vacation from it, meaning that we may want to go into a suspended um, state of existence, like um, I guess the best analogy would be like a coma, but not as an ill health, but as a, um, a sleep, a deep sleep. So these types of um, uh, existences could establish a redefinition of death, where death is not an absolute uh, end of existence, but a, um, a type of um, uh, organ of existence, where we would take off for a day, a month, say, say five, ten years, um, or we could stop existence within one substrate or one form and continue existence in another form. So it would be something similar to, as you said, either coma or maybe a cryogenic sleep of a sort or like deep freeze maybe where all the cells are sus in a suspended animation for a much longer than usual. Yes. Um, looking at it psychologically, it would be a vacation from having to exist. Um, oftentimes we hear people say they look forward to death, meaning that they can relax from the pressures of life or the pressures from existing in life. So I don't think that we should eliminate that, um, that desire to drop out of life, but maybe find that as a whole new a set of realities um, with which to... Um, Explore. I suppose it would be more like um, a deep sleep or a deep meditation or just dropping out for a decade or two if, if we live for hundreds of years, for example. I will bring our interview to a close today with uh, the last two questions. And the first one of them would be, for those of our viewers who haven't heard anything about you and would like to learn more, where would you recommend that they would go and look? Do you have a website or a blog or a point of reference that they can search for more information from? Uh, yes, I have a website. It's very simple. It's natasha.cc. And uh, so it's a www.natasha.cc. And the CC, I look at it as a carbon copy of myself. But basically what it is, it's the coconut islands off of Australia. So um, another place to look is is Wikipedia. Uh, someone put up a page on me, so that's kind of fun to look at. And if you just Google Natasha Vitamore, uh, that's a V-I-T-A hyphen M-O-R-E, uh, there are numerous uh, websites that do carry my uh, talks, uh, presentations, 
and uh, debates and um, a lot of press material that's easy to locate. Excellent. Also, oh, I have a column in Nanotechnology Now, uh, which I write usually on a monthly basis, and I have a new column up right now on We Are Strong. So that's kind of fun, looking at um, artificial general intelligence and enhancing the body and possible singularity. Fantastic. So uh, if there is one message that you would like to leave us with today to give to our viewers to take away from this interview, what would you like that message to be? Be strong. <laughs> Keep on living. Enjoy life to the fullest. Surround yourself with positive, healthy people who actually care about you. Uh, find a passion in life, a purpose, and just love. It's as simple as that. The heavier issues, which I think we all need to pay attention to, are the ones that look at where are we going in the future, how are we going to deal with planetary problems, starvation, death, lack of clean water around the world. We already discussed this. Um, those are big issues, big problems that I don't think we will be able to solve uh, less and until we have artificial general intelligence to assist our cognition. We're just not smart enough to deal with the magnitude of the issues. But on a personal basis, an individual basis for each person, uh, just live and enjoy enjoy life as much as possible while contributing to your passion, your purpose. Thank you very much for being on Singularity One-on-One -on -one today, Natasha. It's been fascinating to have you here. Thank you. I've enjoyed it enormously, and thank you for presenting such interesting questions. I appreciate it.